petty displays of wealth. How can your short lifespans allow such narcissism? Yeah, but look at all the universe figures. I do not care for Gundam universe figures. Hey, what's going on guys? Krosama here. So today we're taking a look at another Gundam Universe line figure, and this time it's going to be on the Sandrock. Honestly, look guys, you know how I feel about the Sandrock. It's just a design I don't really like that much. I do enjoy it when it's like with the entire boy band, but as a standalone mobile suit, I generally don't care for it. But maybe this particular figure can change my mind. Let's go ahead and take a look. And if you want this figure or any others from the Gundam Universe line, click that link down below and check out Hobby Link Japan. So taking a look at the box first, I, you know, generally it's just a box, I get it, but it's something about the art. I really do like the front art on these, they just look fantastic, so I, I like to go ahead and showcase it. And on the back, you don't really have too much going on, it's pretty much just a dynamic pose, you got a standing pose, and it's kind of saying, hey, some articulation. Now straight out of the box, it looks really good. It comes with the stand adapter, it has the hands, the chateaus, and the shield. So it honestly comes with everything that it should. And all of it looks great. Great accessories, the color looks great, the surface level detail is fantastic. I generally have no problems with this figure whatsoever. And that's coming from a person that really does dislike Sandrock. But I do like this as a figure. It looks great, feels great. I, I generally have no problems with it. Now surface level details, it looks pretty good. Honestly, it has a lot of panel lines. You can go ahead and get some like weathering materials, maybe some pastels or something, and do maybe like a wash and you can get some more like desert, like terrain weathering on it. So put some like sand and dirt around the legs. I think that would look pretty good on this figure. Um, I think just a little bit extra tender love and care, it's going to look pretty good on your shelf. Now for articulation, it's pretty much what you've seen with the rest of the Gundam Universe line. It's actually a little bit better than the Zaku 2 that we just reviewed because the Zaku 2, a lot of the armor kind of like, you know, it, it hindered the articulation like in the shoulders. But for this, it's pretty slender in the waist so it has a little bit more range of articulation. There's no like piping system that's really like, you know, hindering it. Uh, the legs are really good, the arms are fantastic, and honestly all around, it's a pretty nice figure in terms of the poses that I can actually pull off. So the first accessories that we're going to take a look at is going to be the heat shotels, and it looks really good. The only problem is that it doesn't come with any kind of heated blades, but if you really want to have the heating effect, I mean, you can easily mask off the handles and then paint it yourself, even do some like heated effects so you can like, you know, fade the like orange into the yellow, into the red. It will look good like that, to be honest, but um, you know, even without that kind of like effect on this particular figure, these blades look great. And if you really want to store them on the backpack, you can store them there. That's fine. It just plugs right into the backpack. The next accessory is going to be the shield. Honestly, it looks great. It has great color on the front with the red and the white. You can actually mount it onto either arm or you can put it onto the backpack for just, you know, weapon storage. Now, one little gimmick that you could actually do with this that it does not display on the packaging itself is you can actually make the cross crusher. And what you do is you take the heat shuttles, you put it onto the backpack, you put the shield onto the backpack, and you take the backpack and all that that's on it and put it onto the arm. And bam, you can go ahead and crush your enemies. And that's something that is only exclusive to the, uh, the TV version, not the EW. That's just something that I guess you can't really do with that. It just does it on the shield itself. But for this one, you utilize the backpack for that extra boost or something. I don't know, it's a little bit weird. But overall, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, so if you really wanna have that like massive, like claw kind of uh, accessory, you could do that on this figure. Now for comparisons, here it is next to the Massagrade EW Sandrock. All right guys, so for my final thoughts on this figure, 
Honestly, it looks great. It feels good. It doesn't really feel loose. All the joints are pretty tight. They, they're sturdy. The weapons and accessories, they look great. I, I really only can ask maybe for a different set of hands, like expressive hands. That's kind of like the only thing I can think of. But for a $25, and you can probably find it for 20 bucks to be honest, but let's just say $25, I do think it's actually a pretty good buy. And like I mentioned, this is a person, me, that does not care that much about Samrock. So look, if you really like Samrock, if you like really like it, or even maybe like passively like it, like you can just kind of want it to complete your boy band collection, I would honestly recommend it. So you know what? This is going to be a cop it. And that's just generally rare for me to say when it comes to the Gundam Universe line. So yeah, I would say pick up this figure and you will play with it probably. You would actually put in some pretty nice little poses and you put it on your shelf next to your other wing collections or maybe next to all the other Samrocks that you might actually have. But if you're not into Samrock whatsoever, you probably could still find enjoyment out of this figure. But if you're not into it, obviously this will be just a pass for you. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And that summarizes all my thoughts on this. It's a generally a surprising little figure. So, um, you know, I was actually pretty happy. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you all for watching. And to all the members who support me, thank you so much. If you do want to get this, hey, go check out Hobby Link Japan. They should have plenty of stock. I don't think it's selling that well just because it is the Gundam Universe line. And the Japanese just generally aren't really picking up a lot of them. Uh, but that's it for me. So thank you all for watching. And I'll be seeing y'all in the next Gundam Universe figure, which is going to be the new Gundam. So hopefully that's going to be a good one. But... That's it for me. I'll be seeing you next time. Bye-bye.